Ice is my nickname. Spice just rhymed with it. I came up with it when I was like 14. My munchkins. I love them so badly. Bitch say bad, let's keep it a beam. Know they be mad, I be on the scene. She a baddie, she know she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. I don't know what's feeling you. She a baddie with her baddie friend. She a baddie, she know she a 10. There's too many. I would just wrap my whole EP to you right now. I did manifest being successful. I would always like be on Google as a kid and shit, looking up how to be rich and shit and like careers that pay the most. So like growing up, I was like, okay, should I be a doctor or should I be a lawyer? You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to make a lot of money, but I just love music. So I guess that's how it just fell into place. My pops always, to this day, he's always like schooling me on what's happened in hip hop. Just being familiar with a rapper in your household and like seeing somebody go to the studio and seeing CDs and stuff like that and like always hearing hip hop music and just like constantly basically being coached about hip hop. He's the one who told me about Nicki Minaj in the first place. So I man, I'm the girl of his dreams. Think about me when he brushing his teeth. He keeps texting, I'll leave him on scene. Hottest bitch out and they know what I'm doing. I guess I always knew I'd be a rapper cause like I was actually looking to be friends with producers. And I had a couple other producer friends on campus that like would always stall and never would fucking send me a beat. And I'd be like, hello, like, can I get a beat? Nobody wanted to send me beats, but Riot. So thankfully he actually took me more serious than other people. People, and finally I was able to lay it down. She used to send me little like snippets and you know over iMessage and stuff and I used to be like damn like this sounds really good like you know she had like a voice that had like you know some bass in it had some like depth in it and um, I just had a feeling that like this could really go somewhere. I love how we're able to just kind of like build a brand you feel me and it's kind of like exclusive in a way. Pop Smoke came out, I was obsessed because I mean, I know Joe was already like mainstream in the UK and stuff like that, but I feel like Pop Smoke brought this new life back to it and I was just obsessed. He's one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to that. He brought a lot of light to New York and definitely paved the way for a lot of like current Joe rappers. <laughs> I was already working on like my first song ever that I was recording. I was like halfway done with it when I did the Busted Challenge. And when I saw it going so viral, I was like, damn, imagine that was my song that I was twerking to. So then the next month I put out my first song and took it from there. But yeah, shout out Erica Banks. That challenge was mad fun. That fake kick started a lot of shit for me. Like that boy is a cap Saying he home but I know where he at Like, bet he blowing her back Think about me cause he know that it's fat I followed Pink and I posted Boys a Liar on my story And she swiped up and was like, uh, do you want to get on it? I've been a fan of Pink since like she first came out so to work with her is so crazy that was a crazy ass collab i didn't think it would be that big to be honest and make some noise for pink panthers I knew it would be like fun. I knew our fans would really appreciate it because I saw them wanting us to collab for a little bit now before it came out. But when it did come out, I was like, oh shit, like I didn't expect that. When I see them like so excited, I'm like excited too, you know? You can't even rush the process. Like we be trying to rush the process, but like it's always gonna have its timing. And it's just fun that people are so excited and stuff. While we were shooting Boys a Liar, there was like a little group of boys down the block, like just screaming the whole time. And then they was on the roof of the other building, watching us do the roof scene, screaming. It was so funny. That night was fun. I tried to pay, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rock. Big boots in the bus, they talk. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. Chilling with North kind of just reminded me of like, being with my siblings, to be honest. <laughs> She's so cute. She just kept like um, making little TikToks to my songs and stuff like that. And then I seen her starting to draw me and I was like, oh, she really is like supporting me. That's crazy. <laughs> I 
I love the princess label. Okay. I feel like I let the fans pick that one because I didn't like claim her until I saw like all my supporters being like, she's the people's princess, she's Princess Diana. At first I was confused. <laughs> I was like, um, Princess Diana, like, <laughs> out of everybody, but I was like, fuck it, like, she's iconic, so, yeah, Princess Diana it is. Nowadays I be ducking them cameras, and they hype that I'm up on them banners, calling my phone, but they know I don't answer. In the hood, I'm like Princess Diana. I've been a fan of Nicki my whole life. I just know that I be on my flag girl shit. I flag girl pop up and I flag girl dick. So I feel like I was always manifesting, like working with her and meeting her one day and stuff like that, so, I mean, I guess it's just perfect timing. I don't know, like her and James connected. I'm listening to her, who's her idol, you know, um, Nikki, 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 Nikki. My thing is, how do I get her Nikki, right? And it's being persistent. She wants to work with people who want to work with her, but she's very selective. It gotta make sense, and Nikki made sense. I was like, oh my God, this is such a crazy moment. Like, besides meeting her, of course, because, you know, she's legendary herself, but I was just like, I made it this far. Like, you know, meeting her, I feel like that's when a lot of stuff started to hit me. You know, shout out Nikki, shout out Ice. You know, those are my two favorite artists right now. Like, you know, the women are killing it. And to be a part of the queen and the princess's moment, I couldn't ask for more. I met with a bunch of labels and stuff like that, and then I just felt like 10K and Capital was the good fit for me. You don't want to just take any deal, and deals came to her. You know, there was production deals, 360 deals, but it was it was deals that I know that it can be better. And in order to get a better deal, you have to go out and do it yourself, and that comes with us putting you know money where our mouth is, and we did that with Munch. We rolled it out independently ourselves and we leveraged the success and the hype around that, and we got the best deal. You know, now she owns her masters, she owns her publishing, and not a lot of people can say that. I'm still learning a lot, to be honest. Recording used to be very, very stressful for me, but now I'm getting more comfortable with it. Like, over the past year, I, I would say I've been more comfortable. Learning to record while learning like songwriting processes and everything was a lot, but I'm so happy I put in that time and that work. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's paying off, so. That nigga of munch. Nigga eat it, he ate it for lunch. Bitch on my baddie, I get what I want like. I just felt like people needed to hear some more music from me before I gave them like an entire album. So I was just like, let me put out a couple more songs and just introduce myself really. Cause you know, I just got here and I feel like people need to just hear a little bit more and just get more familiar with me. She's rare, she's one of a kind. And I think people seeing it now, but I think it's a lot more that we have in the pipeline. I'm gonna put out a deluxe this summer. Yes, yeah, so stay tuned for that. That's on the way. I love the songs that I make and stuff. So I think that's the most important part, just loving it and having fun with it. People's gonna be like, oh yeah, she's here to stay. Yeah.